So uh, the next question we received was via email. How can you empower our deaf, disabled, BIPOC youth community to get more involved in government? Thank you. So we received this question via email, and I think it's very important. I think it's very important. I want us to restate that question because even the way that it was submitted is important for us to understand. This question was emailed to us. It was emailed to us. And if you haven't noticed, this right here is um, our live streaming, our live streaming phone, so that folks who may have um, uh, that that may have accessibility needs or of, are of different disabilities are able to um, participate in our processes. So, thank you, thank you so much. And so there are so many uh, members of our community who may be deaf, hard of hearing, or have physical disabilities that prevent them from getting all the way over here. We don't want to exclude them from participation in our public processes. So um, our question, uh, Angela, was the question, how do we get young people with disabilities to I'm become more
like basic decorum. It's not about ignoring your question. It's about respecting those who have come. Thank you. The question was, how can you empower our deaf, disabled, BIPOC youth community to get more involved in government? Can we repeat that question? I'm sorry, Angela. Just people keep yelling over our neighbor with a disability, and I want to make sure that they are heard. So the question was, how can you empower our deaf, disabled, BIPOC youth community to get more involved in government? Thank you. Um, so, you know, I think a lot of the, please be polite. Um, I think a lot of what we're talking about in terms of disability.